Hello everyone, my name is Nick Vitegliano. Today I'm here to talk to you about my thesis research project, which is tentatively titled, An Analysis on the Implementation of Biomimicry in Additively Manufactured Lattice Structures. I'm conducting my work under the supervision of Dr. Guha Monagarn, and my advisor is Dr. Bo Cheng. So this presentation will look at a few different aspects of my research project. Specifically, we'll be looking at the motivation behind my work, what goals and objectives I seek to accomplish, and how my work is different from what has already been done in the field. But before we get into that, we must understand one thing. What exactly is an additively manufactured biomimetic lattice structure? If we break it down into components, it's actually quite easy to understand. First and foremost is a part that is created using a 3D printing process, which can be any method of 3D printing for the general definition. Next, the user integrates some form of natural influence in the part design, which typically comes in the form of cellular shapes or natural geometries. Then we tessellate and repeat that natural design in three dimensions to create a lattice form. The sum of these three components gives us our final product. A fine example of an AM biomimetic lattice is this honeycomb, as it incorporates all three of the above listed components. Now that we understand the topic of my research, we can get into the motivation behind my work. Lattices are a desirable structural form because of their high strength to weight ratio. Such a property is very useful in the transportation and aerospace industries, as vehicles can achieve better fuel efficiency without having to sacrifice structural integrity. Lattices are also being utilized in the medical field for customer-specific implants. Again, the porous nature of lattices allows these parts to be lighter and interface with patients' bodies better than solid, heavier implants do. Clearly, improvements in lattice technology can benefit many different industries. Next, we can move on to what exactly my research hopes to achieve. The overarching goal of my research is to see how utilizing biomimicry and natural influence in lattice design can impact mechanical properties. Some properties of interest include ultimate tensile strength, fracture strength, and elasticity, to name a few. From biology, we know that nature has produced materials with incredible mechanical properties, such as spider silk and plant cells. By using similar designs from those natural materials and man-made materials, it may be possible to increase the overall mechanical performance of engineered parts. This potentiality is what my research aims to investigate. On a smaller and more specific scale, my research objective is to design and print two different additively manufactured biomimetic lattices and subject them to various kinds of mechanical testing procedures. Afterwards, the performance of these designs will be compared to the performance of past basic lattice structures. This objective will be accomplished via a general flow of specific tasks. First, sufficient background research must be conducted on a variety of topics, which includes lattices, 3D printing, biomimicry, biomaterials, and the like. Once that is complete, CAD models and initial designs can begin to be drafted for the two different parts. After the designs are finalized, they will be sent to a digital light processing 3D printer and the two structures will be manufactured. Next, each design will go through various mechanical tests, such as compression, fatigue, and bending tests to determine their mechanical performance. Finally, the results will be collected and compared against past non-biomimetic lattice designs to determine if performance improvements do exist. Lastly, we can talk about how my research is different from what has already been done in the field. While reading the literature and constructing my lit review, I noticed that there were some holes in the past work. First, most work done on lattices has not utilized digital light processing 3D printing. Instead, SLA or metal additively manufactured methods were utilized. Second, very little work has been done on the implementation of biomimicry in lattice design. Most lattices that have been tested are based off of basic geometric shapes like diamonds or simple truss designs. Lastly, little work has been done with biocompatible materials in 3D printing. Since AM lattices are being used in the medical field, it is important to conduct tests on these structures made from biocompatible materials, as they are capable of interfacing with the human body. However, the past work seemed to focus more on typical plastics like ABS or metallic alloys which may not be biocompatible. The good news is, my research covers all three of these gaps, providing new information on a variety of different topics in the field. So today we talked about what exactly my research project is, what I plan to achieve, how I plan to do it, and why my work is important. As we have seen, 
biomimetic lattices have a bevy of applications that can improve current technologies, and I seek to contribute some knowledge to its advancement. Thank you.